Oh, it's spinning. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to We Played a Game. Uh, my name's Alex. I'm here with my co-host, Sean, and he's in a CBT. We Played a Game. Uh, As you can see from these jiggling balls. <laughs> cognitive behavioral therapy? Yep. That's what I meant. <laughs> and uh, this is, welcome to Teardown Part 17. Um, maybe the finale? Unclear. We will We'll find out. Um yeah. But guys, yeah, we're getting really close to the end. It's very exciting. Amenities needs nitroglycerin. My plan is coming together splendidly. The autonomous technology you liberated from Quiles will be the crown of my creation. Actually, their technology is so far ahead of the competition that I decided to upgrade Hollow Rock security with their robots. They're due to be deployed there within the next few minutes. Now, there's just one thing missing to complete my masterpiece. Nitroglycerin. Wow. Unfo <laughs> wow! <laughs> just like a guy in the background listening to him type up the email. Wow! And he's like says it out loud because he's a boomer. <laughs> Unfortunately, it requires a license to be purchased. A license I do not have to kill. However, <laughs> Quiles is regularly receiving large quantities of it. As a matter of fact, they received a shipment yesterday. It would be fabulous if you could pay them a visit and bring back as much as possible. As usual, you will be generously compensated. Handle with care. Uh, all right. I do like that he just sent an email with the subject, need nitroglycerin. <laughs> I'm sure the FBI won't give a shit about that. No, why would they? Nitroglycerin is a, a popular additive in many foods. Oh. That's not true. That's, yeah, I have my cereal with nitroglycerin instead of milk. <laughs> it really wakes me up. That, that panic when your throat <laughs> <laughs> freezes shut. Yeah. You, it's you, nothing compares. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I, I didn't pay enough attention. <laughs> I love that. I was like, he's got to run into a robot. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So I what? We need to get check to see what I need. <laughs> nitroglycerin to the boat, I think. At least three. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, but they can explode. So you have to not let them explode on the way to the boat. The robots? No, the nitroglycerin. Oh. That's what we're here to steal. Because they had a new shipment yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, my nitrous was so far away. <laughs> Sean is throwing a fucking robot like it's WWE. I'm trying. We less security, more like... Run! <laughs> yeah! Nailed it. Sucky, little bitch. Hey, good luck climbing if there's no stairs. <laughs> This is not oh, wait, going hold exactly on. the way that I thought that, it would. Hey, oh, hey. there we go. Hey! Boom, boom, yeah! Boom, boom, boom. When your walkie-talkie runs out of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> One robot down. Oh, funny story. I bought walkie-talkies recently. Uh, Did you really? Like, nice ones? Or, like, just like just to have them? Oh, oh Sean's branded. Sean's showing me a picture. They look nice. <laughs> Oh, Sean's nice. showing me the Amazon those. listing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, only a thousand dollars. Well, listen, you could donate at our Patreon. Patreon.com slash we didn't make it yet. <laughs> yeah, you can help us buy, sh buy dumb shit we don't need. <laughs> That's by cool. By going to our Patreon. <laughs> Why'd you decide to get uh, walkie talkies? Um, so I have, I go to this website frequently that they do like wholesale stuff uh, or they sell Basically stuff that uh, the original company... Okay. Oh my god, you just blew up Target. <laughs> <laughs> so millions of moms won't have anywhere to go. I didn't realize... I guess I should have realized that it would be that explosive. Um, so I go to this website that, that sells stuff uh, that the original company like couldn't sell, and they want to uh, liquidate their inventory. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, so... I, the one day it was like three walkie-talkies for, I don't even remember the price, but it seemed super reasonable. Like and double digits? Or triple digit money are we talking about? Oh, double digits. Oh, awesome. I, I wouldn't have gone for them if it was triple digits. Because there are some there are some really nice walkie-talkies, but like if you don't need serious high quality ones, right? that's for the best. <laughs> um, I mean, I would say these are probably budget quality, um, which is not to say bad, but like, you know, just consumer... Yeah. What would your average person need kind of stuff? They're not my four-year-old's Pikachu walkie-talkies. Right. Broke already. 
Look at the donation man. No. No. <laughs> Martin, I didn't kill my goat. wife. I don't care. <laughs> I didn't kill my wife. <laughs> I didn't kill my robot wife. <laughs> Who's asking? Harrison for the robot. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, the kid in me was like, oh yeah, fuck yeah, walkie talkies. And then the adult oh, in, so cool. in me is like, well, I could use them for like, if we need to work on the house and we have one person in the upstairs, one person downstairs, stuff like that. So I justified it. That's not, <laughs> that's hilarious. That's actually not a bad plan. Cause I hate having to like yell. Like upstairs or downstairs, and yeah. stuff. especially if God, if you're like two floors apart, like working on like a second floor, and someone's in the basement, like fl flipping a breaker switch or something. Yeah, that would be really convenient. Um, even cell phones can be kind of a hassle to deal with. Uh, yeah, but that is the more realistic way to go under most circumstances. I'll admit. Um, yeah. Wait. Well, what if you're using your? What if you're using it as a, uh, a flashlight? A flashlight or something? Yeah. And it's you know talking on speaker. That's tough too. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's got it's got applications. I mean, getting a good deal on them. I get it. Plus, it's just fucking fun. Walkie talkies are really fun. I I usually get to use them at least once a year because my friend Dave, who lives, uh, I think he's in New Jersey, um, but I he comes on my like yearly camping trip that I do with a bunch of my friends. Mm -hmm. And uh, he always brings, he has like, I don't know if they're like from his dad or something, but they're like really nice high-end ones. Mm. And oh, we can... you're, <clears throat> you're like disconnected during that camping trip, right? Yeah, you no get, no internet, no cell service out on the island that we're on. Yeah. And it's like a, it's like almost a two-hour paddle to the shore. That's a really like, good use case too, if you're... Where our there. cars are. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, but the, the, uh, the walkie-talkies on the island, like if someone goes out at night, we'll send them out. You know, like they might go uh, kayaking or canoeing around, and we'll have them take walkie-talkie and talk to whoever's like tending the campfire, right. so we can make sure nothing bad happens to them out in the water, because uh, it can be pretty dark. Um, and then we also we've used it in the past. We gave one to our buddy Francis, who was coming late one of these years, and uh, we told him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We told him to uh, turn his walkie-talkie on when he got close to the departure place and then we started um canoeing back and we were able to like, communicate like however many miles apart it's pretty cool yeah and be like hey we're coming for you so that he doesn't he's not just sitting on the shore forever because we don't we, we usually don't try to paddle out unless we know the person's gonna be there because it's such a long paddle right so that's that's reasonable yeah um the 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 kid in me also thought that a good use case would be for uh have you heard of the game uh fuck what is it called the, what do you do in the game it's bomb defusal oh uh but it's but something you do it, nobody but explodes keep uh, talking keep nobody talking explodes oh that's a great game that would be a great game to have like one person in the room oh. with, on a computer and the rest of the people on the walkie talkie yes like trying to communicate through walkie talkie oh, i love that that <laughs> it'll get really frustrating. Um, oh, it'd be awesome. That's a yeah, great idea. It's a really cool idea. God, now I'm extra glad you bought those. <laughs> we got to organize that at some point. I would yeah. love to do get a bunch of people together to play that again because it's been a long time since I've had gotten to play that. We'd ha what we'd end up having to do is like we'd like use the Steam Link to cast to a TV, mm -hmm. but we'd like turn the TV around. <laughs> So like one person is looking at the TV and everyone else has like the sheets and stuff behind the TV, <laughs> which is not the most easiest thing to set up depending on the size of your television right? or like what room you're playing in or whatever. The walkie talkies gives you a lot more flexibility. All right. I've only found one nitroglycerin thing. I don't want to tell you what to do, but they're all on the map. No, I know that. Okay. What do you think I am, a fool? Mm, do you want me to answer truthfully? Or... Um, yes. Falsely. I want you to <laughs> hurt my feelings. <laughs> I'm almost done. Bully me. <laughs> <laughs> Bully me. I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> so what, we found one up in the locked container. Yeah, somewhere around here. Uh, yeah. There's one way up high. That was the one you found down there, I think think you're right um and then 
Yeah, that the other one above looks like it might be where that other safe was, where you got the flamethrower guy from. Mm -hmm. It looks like there's one up there. I mean, I wasn't complaining that I couldn't find them, just that I had only found one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was my main point. I gotcha, I gotcha. Um, how many do I need, anyway? Oh, three. Just three. Alright, good. Set my sights low. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, it's just a friendly neighborhood. Johnny Five! Johnny yes. Five is oh. alive! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Just bodied that, that robot. That was Johnny Five's dad. Johnny Dive. He was an Olympic swimmer. Yeah, Famous. Come get me now, bitch. He's like, alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Crashes through the glass. You got it. He can't use elevators, though, can he? <laughs> You're like, now arriving at your floor. <gasps> fuck. Oh, shit. Do you Careful think... Careful not to ignite any nitro with that. Do you think that... I can kill, kill robots robot? with this? I don't know, actually. I don't think I used the laser in this mission. No imagination. Wow. <laughs> Devastate me, Sean, with two words. <laughs> Alright, we'll do that. And then... No imagination! No breathing! I don't give a fuck if I break all the robots. Nobody gonna break on my bots. <laughs> Nobody's gonna slow them down. Oh. I love what you're doing. Well, shit, I might care if they were my robots, but they're not. Probably the best bet is if you can try and... That might be what you're trying to do, but if you can just get it to go down, then you could drop a piece down there to, like, actually aim it. But that's tough. Yeah. It's really fucking tough. When you have triangle blocks and cubes. Those I don't are know if it's actually even going to do anything. I know, but aren't you curious? I, I guess, I curious. mean, we can find out on our own time, I suppose. We're on company time right now. <laughs> it's business time. Can't let down our Patreon backers. <laughs> <laughs> All none of them. Yeah. Whoa, hey, no spoilers. <laughs> I haven't checked our Patreon in a while. Did you set up a Patreon? No. <laughs> oh, was I supposed to do that? Yeah. Oh. You did it, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna treat this like actual work. I'm gonna say that I did it. And uh -huh. then and then yeah. do it in a panic. Yeah. Last minute. <laughs> okay, good, because I'm gonna show it I'm supposed to show it to senior leadership. Uh which yeah. Which is my mom. <laughs> my mom. mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mom! Sean didn't do the DBS reports! Uh. Hey, Sean! Never do it this work. Always lying! <laughs> Why is he always lying? Why am I always lying? Uh, yeah, I don't know why I always lie. You know? <laughs> you, know? you know what you could do? It's Just real. talk about that with a the therapist. It's a problem. Sean's I... not gonna talk with a therapist. <laughs> Nobody's gonna slow his mind. Oh no. <laughs> He's got to keep on trauma. Wait, they're gonna slow my mind? No. I mean, you're gonna slow your mind, like, if you have racing thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, calm it down, not, not like, <laughs> not make you slow. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused about the way that, or I'm concerned about the way that you worded that. I'm confused about your concern. So, how about that? I'm, um... Oh, no, it's glow. What is this, blue corp? <laughs> Got you. <laughs> God, you're like a... You're like a snow speeder tying down that app. <laughs> I'm tiny and flexible, and you're a big old robot. Oh, he's not gonna get wrapped up, is he? No, I'm pretty sure he's shown that they can break through those straps. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't just like shoot him through the floor or something. It seemed like a wise move. It's uh... I didn't know if this... <laughs> there you go. If this floor was holy enough. You should... <laughs> I'm feeling saint-like. Holy. <laughs> nice. How fragile is this? Super. Okay. Uh, Think like the propane tanks when I was like dragging them down the stairs in that one episode. Okay. And they kept like hitting the jagged stairs and exploding like that fragile. Oh fuck. 
Yeah, that guy's an <laughs> asshole. You may be able to push him off the cliff or something. I don't see. I don't think I've been able to. Never mind. Or I had an idea. Are there any vehicles <laughs> around? Like we had that crane truck before. I don't know if we have one this time. Oh fuck. Oh shit! Did you, you go just, through? Oh nice. You just crawl under this. Oh. Hey, come here. <laughs> I do the tippy tappies. <laughs> hey, Zul, what's Turbo Dance number? I don't even see any guns on them. What the fuck are they shooting? Potatoes. Ah, uh, like the Irish. Yeah, the potatoes. The potatoes. <laughs> the potatoes frequently <laughs> shoot Irish out of their guns. I mean, there's. There's enough of them, right? There are certainly enough potatoes out there. You bad lad. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. More! Is he stuck? Oh, yeah. Okay. That was really cool. <laughs> I'm impressed with your ability to just, like, brush off bullet wounds. Yeah. This is like Call of Duty level. I'm pretty great. <laughs> like, oh, there's red on your screen. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is out of hand. <laughs> no, there are two of them. <laughs> <laughs> they were prepared for me. Hurt by cold water. Well, we open there. Well, cold water is spiky, so that makes sense. <laughs> Why'd they put so many spikes in their water? Well, have you ever had regular, boring, uh, non alcoholic water? Uh, yeah. Not on my watch. This <laughs> is like, I have a flamethrower now. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks Very for the cool. weapon, idiot. Thanks, Sean. Very cool. I have been upgraded. Beep boop, beep boop, time to kill you. Alright, so... So far, the best method has just been to sort of put them in a place where they can fall into the water without the use of boosters, and then... Uh... Bob's your uncle. Yeah. I mean... And don't forget, like, you have a lot of... You have a lot of explosives, so I mean, like... Go happy with them, you know? I'm pretty happy. Okay. I'll rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, as far as the game is concerned, like, not in real life. Oh, okay. Thank God. <laughs> Happy people aren't funny. <laughs> Phew. I've heard it said. Come here, you there bitch. was a time where I wasn't funny at all. Do you think this robot's name is Lynn? He's not invited to the should stay the fuck home. Well, you don't want to walk on this elevator? I am Robo Lin. I'll be your girlfriend for a new group. Which is a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Nickel. Wow. You oh. Oh, you're doing the regular. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot teabag you. I have to leave. Alright, I got a series up for this. Yeah. So this seems like do we need to trade <clears throat> chairs? Or are you going to handle this one? Oh, do you want to take over? Can you handle this one? I'm sure I can, it's just going to be a matter of how long is this going to take. Oh, uh, well, yeah, Sean heard that this might be the finale, so he was like, oh, dilly dolly. I, I got excited. Yeah, I want to extend this out as far as I can. <clears throat> I figured. You don't want to say goodbye to Teardown. Um, Teardown has just been such a blast. Literally. Did you check the couch <laughs> for data? Check the couch. Was there anything in the couch? Jizz. Nice. You normally got to pay for that. There's a lot or of or go to a special location. <laughs> There's a lot of data in jizz. That's true. That's true. Someone calculated how many like gigabytes of data come out when you ejaculate as as a man, a male ejaculate at least. I don't know if they studied women, but <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, I'm sure up. somebody has. Look it up on the goog. It's also what I call my sperm. It's like the googs. The goog. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good shot. Good job, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Way Wait, to go. Don't even hear me. Compliment <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Wunderbar. <laughs> oh, this is great. I can just lay back. Drink my mint julep and Sean does all the talking. <laughs> 
Gosh. Uh, and now he won't kill himself when you want him to, right? <laughs> Look at robots. <laughs> kill yourself, I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. I've been programmed with not killing myself by this. <laughs> Why are you not affected? <laughs> He's... I think it's... I think it has to do with his will to live. Why did we program them with that? Uh... Well... I think Quila likes it when they don't fall in the water. This is weird. Rude. Seriously rude. <laughs> oh, so I wanted to talk to you about an annoying thing I dealt with the other day. Was it While me? I was... Oh. <laughs> you don't need me. Um, <laughs> that was really funny. Thank you. But no, I actually don't think you're annoying at all. Um, but the it was uh, so I'm I'm getting a new place. I got an apartment. Yeah. Um, while I was apartment hunting, um, I ended up. What the? Did you kill it? Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. That was actual bullshit. All I right. think you got to abandon the thruster strategy. Yeah, the thrusters it's are not really working. really a lot down. That's frustrating. Cause it it's seemed so like cool it was going to work works. for a minute. Yeah. Ah, uh, that is a bummer. Um, so you're yeah. apartment hunting. Yeah, sorry. Um, going on a tangent. Um, so yeah, so I was hunting for an apartment. I found a really nice one that was really close. A location that I liked. Mm -hmm. It was a little higher in my price range, but... It had one more bedroom than I was going for, which I thought would be really great. I'd love the extra space, like good space. So I set up, like at that time I was looking, it was like 3.30 or something like that yeah. in the afternoon. And however they do their scheduling, it's through like Mojo something. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna shit talk them because I've had a terrible experience with them, but it was through Home 365, okay. which is like a renting service. And like they work with landlords. It's some sort of thing where like, you mean leeches? Yeah, like you as a landlord almost kind of become like the equivalent of like a franchise owner sort of thing. It's it's weird how they have it set up, but um, nice job taking out the robot. Thank you. Um, but you can run through there and stuff. And they do their organizing for appointments through this like mojo something.com. Mm -hmm. um, so I scheduled an appointment and the only slot open that was still on the day that it was was a 430 and I was like okay that's an hour from now and the drive was literally four minutes from when I was where I was so I was thrilled so you know I goofed off for half an hour and decided to head there 15 minutes early so I drove over there and um, there was this nice couple outside and I went up to talk to them and they were like yeah we're here to see the place too and, like we were chatting and waiting for the guy to show up and you know 430 rolls around nobody's there <clears throat> and we hear music coming from the other apartment but we're trying to be really nice and we're like not trying to bother the people who actually live there because as far as we're concerned it's not their fault that the landlord is late or something right so we just gonna hang out for a bit like almost 20 minutes still no landlord the couple is like hey we have shit to do so we're gonna leave they're like if he shows up we hope you get it and i was like oh thank you <laughs> so i like luck like i was done with work for the day i finished work at four so i was like fuck it you know i'll kill some time it's a nice day um, it was like 60s and sunny. Uh, it was it was great. So I just sat down at the house and waited. And 20 more minutes went by. Guy never fucking showed up. So at this point, it's almost 20 minutes past the time. So I decided to call their number. Nice job. We're three down. <laughs> um, I mean that's a great strategy because then no one will get in your way when you're actually yeah absolutely dragging the nitro around. Hold on, I need a drink. My mouth's getting dry. <laughs> ah, yeah. Time to have a mint julep. Yeah, type your julep. Um, so <laughs> you like it when I become a gremlin, don't you? <laughs> of course. That's the dynamic. Must not to love. <laughs> the annoying guy and the gremlin. <laughs> this week on CNN. Oh wait, I'm the annoying guy. No. Uh oh. You said it earlier. That's why I repeated it. I, I told you that I, I don't say that. Annoying. Yeah, you were like, I, I dealt that? with this annoying thing the other week, and you were oh, like, was yes. it me? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and then I reassured you that you're not actually annoying. Okay. <laughs> um, I was trying to reference that. <laughs> I completely that, forgot that. about that. Okay. All good, all good. Um, so yeah, so that so that happened, and it's 20 minutes, and I call the number, and they have a little, you know, it's like a robot lady answers the phone, and she says, um, if you're out the house... Uh, Go fuck yourself. <laughs> pretty much. No. 
Uh, it goes through the whole spiel of like, if you're going to be late, like text a number and it'll tell the real estate agent you'll be like this many minutes late or whatever. It's cool. I was like, okay, it's cool that you can do that. But then it says, if you're at the place and the realtor's not there, press this button. I said, okay. So I hit the button and this fucking robot bitch, <laughs> this fucking bitch <laughs> has the audacity. She goes, yes, it looks like you're 19 minutes late to the, your showing. <laughs> the landlord must have already left because you're so late. I was like, fucking excuse me? Did it actually use it in that phrase? Or Not exactly, but pretty okay. damn close. Like, I was like, it was ins it was an insulting tone. I was like, holy shit. Like, way to just put the onus on the people who went out of their way to check out an apartment. Yeah. Like, just to assume like that was such a piece of shit move. And they had, like, no actual way to just call and leave feedback. Like, there was no recording. Like, eventually it was just like, well, LOL, we'll send you another link. Try again. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, this place is nice. Like, I will give it a second chance. So there was a 1.30 showing at this apartment the next day. So I scheduled for it. And I get there early again. Yeah. Nobody's there yet. I'm like, okay, it's fine. I am early. Like, I like to show up early just in case. Um, sometimes the, the people will already be there and they'll just let you check out the place early and then you can go home early, which is great. Sure. Um, more time to check out other apartments or whatever else you got to do. So I get there and I'm early. I'm just kind of sitting around. It's like lightly drizzling, but it's not too bad. And there's like a big oak tree there. So I kind of hang out underneath the oak tree. I've got a jacket on, so it's not too bad. Mm -hmm. Little little chilly, little, little windy, but not too bad. And this... A uh, woman drives up, and uh, I, it took me a minute. Sometimes I'm really dense, and she like comes up and approaches me, and like starts up a conversation with me. <laughs> oh no! And uh, eventually, I realize that we're both just standing there, and, and we're like, she's just looking at the place, and she just goes, "Whenever you're ready." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, you think I'm the landlord?" And I was like, oh, no, I thought you were the landlord. And we had, like, a weird Spider-Man moment with each other. She was really funny. You I just stood there pointing. Yeah, I was like, oh, I thought you, and then you, and oh. And I felt so bad for this poor woman because um, she had to, like, get someone to cover her shift last minute at work so that she could get there. Like, she took a lift there. She didn't have her own car. Mm -hmm. Like, she really went out of her way to check out this place. And I felt so bad because we fucking got stood up again. No one fucking showed up. And this time, like, like I was pissed because this was the second time it happened. Yeah. So, like, I went and knocked on the other doors, like, to try and talk to the other tenants. And they were like, hey, just so you know, like, we can't get a hold of the guy either. <laughs> and I was like, wow. Like, at that point, I was just so fucking pissed off. Like, they never responded to me wow, about, like, n like, not showing up and wasting yeah. my time. Which is terrible by itself. And I, yeah, I felt so bad for that woman that was there with me. Because, you know, she just looked like she needed, like, you know, something to go right. <laughs> it was just like, yeah. fuck, that sucks. <laughs> and then, yeah, so I called and I did leave a message and all that shit. And then the fucking audacity. Um, Robot? Well, I was glad. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. Oh, my headphones fell off. <laughs> I'm I'm an adult. Um, the <laughs> I have a big adult head. <laughs> <laughs> the uh well before i say the audacity I, I i did decide after being stood up the second time i was like well jesus christ like even if the, if the people li who live here can't get a hold of their landlord i'm not sure i would want to live here either yeah it's probably so not that like that. really swore me off of home 365 in general um but then i get a fucking email like that night from the realtor and it was like hey it was so great meeting you <laughs> how did you like the place and i was like oh <laughs> I saw red. I was like, meeting me? Oh, were you invisible and also mute and deaf? Like, for fuck's sake. I was so fucking pissed. That was last Thursday and Friday. God. <laughs> that sucks. Like, yeah, like, go like. Oh, that's awful. Yeah. So I'm just going to say fuck Home 365. The whole rental market is just a bunch of bullshit. It really is. It's so frustrating, too, to watch, uh, like, all these people that, like, have investment properties where they, they put their house or whatever they, whatever they got on the market. Yeah. And then they just expect that it has to make money. Yeah. Like... Was that made of gold? Not anymore. 
I think it's still gold. No. That oh, dangerous. I need that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, it was a big thing during the pandemic uh, where people were criticizing, and rightfully so, I, careful, I would careful. think. Careful, they got bullets. Oh. <laughs> careful, they uh, got bullets. Like, yeah. Wise words. Uh, landlords are being criticized, and I think rightfully so, for kicking people out of their uh, out of their properties. Oh, yeah, because they only like, did that like, uh, like the forgiveness, rent forgiveness or something. They were they only did that for a little bit. Yeah, where like they were they were paying. I think the, like the U.S. government was paying landlords. Whatever it was, They're, but, but I don't they, remember exactly how it they was started organized. kicking tenants out. Well, the, there was a moratorium on on. Um, oh, that was it. Moratorium. On the, uh, I love that word. What do you call it? Uh, uh, when you kick someone out of your property. Eviction. Eviction. There's a moratorium on evictions, and okay, landlords started like losing their fucking minds. Like, I have this property, and it's not making any money. And it's like, dude. He's like, wah. <laughs> learn what an investment is. You are not guaranteed profit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. Also, maybe show some sympathy for some sympathy. <laughs> maybe throw some sympathy for the Th family. Okay? Throw some sympathy for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey babe, new lisp. What up? <laughs> Do you ever see? <laughs> Are you just trying it out now? Like yeah, taking just, it for a spin? Yeah, just taking it for a spin. <laughs> <laughs> Try it out. <laughs> oh, man, Did you I'm see so... the cable guy? Uh, With Jim yes. Carrey and Matthew Broderick? It's been years. I want to check it out again. But... I, I really don't remember much other than like the whole fight scene in the satellite dish near the end. And he punches Jim Carrey and his lisp goes away and he goes, oh, I, You fixed my lisp! And then he punches him again and it comes back. <laughs> so it's just so stupid. In what is essentially like a stalker horror film. Oh yeah. There are some bits of comedy in there. It's such I feel a, like Jim Carrey couldn't resist. It's such a strange movie tonally, from what I remember. Mm -hmm. I do want to go back and check it out though. Um, it is it is worth a rewatch, I think. I think it, I think you'd classify it as like a dark comedy. Would yeah. probably be the best way. Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, and it's not like it's not like it has a funny ending or anything. Where like you're like it's yeah, there's no like moral at the end. Yeah, because Jim Carrey's he, like he's just this stalker guy that's like obsessed with um, uh, like sitcoms, right? That's his whole thing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and he think yeah he and he loves like Matthew Broderick is like the one person who's like nice and friendly with him. So he like so he obsesses the, over their friendship, yeah. To like levels of like you know, like Ross and uh, Chandler, you know, like coming over to each other's places constantly, and really overstepping the boundaries as his cable guy. Right. You might want to quick save now before you make another step. That's just, a good look, point. just looking out for you. I see this boy. I see you, baby. Shaking those bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. This row boy. You got any row bullets for my robot? <laughs> You're I, looking awful robust all. today. Yeah. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It took me a minute, but I, I caught up. I worked on it for ten seconds at most. <laughs> at most, I think is uh, is the important I part wanna, there. Yeah. You gotta. It's like when you're writing on your resume, you gotta. You gotta pat, you gotta butter things up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> gotta keep it snappy. Um. <gasps> that was close. <laughs> oh hey, did you start your new job yet, or is that soon? I was just uh, internally debating on whether I wanted to do that before I, uh, whether I wanted to talk about that before I accidentally almost fucked up the progress that i had made here <laughs> um i have not started it yet no i'm i'm oh, on okay. my last week uh with the current company and you know it, it's kind of nice to just be sort of coasting to not have to worry about taking on new work and things like that it's like a lot less pressure yeah um i also i i feel like the people on my team that I've been giving knowledge transfers to don't understand that I won't be available for them to contact anymore. <laughs> they just don't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> like I was on a call with one of them today and the guy literally said to me, I don't know what just broke. Yeah, I heard glass, but I don't know where. I was worried that it might have been a robot. I was on a uh, call with a guy today and he said, 
oh, you're going to another place within the company, right? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving, my guy. Are there plates, are there pieces of glass on the nitroglycerin itself? Like in the little, I also had that like, rectangle areas? I I was wondering about that, <laughs> but I, I'm, I don't see anything. I don't see any, and I'm kind of thinking that that these objects are like all or nothing, so if any part of it broke, it's gonna explode. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's that's probably true. <sighs> all these collisions that it's making, though, like you're doing a great job, though. I appreciate that. I I need that good feedback. You're uh, doing great. You're almost not, there. It's not gonna help me come, though. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not here for that. That oh. is for Wednesday. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Round of applause in the chat for Sean. I am flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> when I complete a mission, I go limp. I'm done. <laughs> I am flaccid. <laughs> Just like a great off the cuff. How are you doing today? Like, you got a convenience store? Is this all for today? Yeah, I am flaccid. <laughs> wow, cool. So I'm going to run my convenience store. What else? One. <laughs> well, it's at the Quickie Mart, right? Yeah. You don't want to go to the Quickie Mart if you're flaccid. You got to be ready to fucking go. That's right. At a, at a moment's notice. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> I started destroying my TV for the 40th time. Yeah. Oh, Tracy. Oh, Tracy wants to talk to us. Business has been really good lately. I think we should celebrate. Here, here. Do you want to come over to Cullington for dinner tomorrow? Oh, no. I can make that mushroom casserole you love. Mom, head of uh, sales. Uh, I mean, the casserole's good. Ooh, you're going to have fun in this mission, buddy. It is with great pleasure that I present to you the truck's Terminator. <laughs> Behold its glory. I've instructed my people to deploy this marvel tomorrow. It will be such a joy watching it take care of my problems once and for all. As a token of my appreciation for your sublime work, I've arranged a small gift. Since we've managed to keep each other's identities and whereabouts concealed, I had it placed in the warehouse on Hollow Rock Island. Pick it up at a convenient time for you. I'm certain you will find your way in. All right. <clears throat> oh, I think this is our last mission from the Turd Man. And then Parisa Turdeman. We, we finally have a case, pal. I got the warrant and I'm preparing a, the raid against Hollow Rock. Just one minor problem. It seems the Manatitties has upgraded security <laughs> once again. I'm not sure it's safe for us to head over there uninvited. I know how this may sound, pal, but we've come this far, haven't we? Could you pay a visit and make sure the place is safe before we show up tomorrow? Parisa Turdeman, Criminal Investigator, Lockout Police Department. Droid Dismount. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay, here we oh, go. I'm so excited. Uh, <clears throat> clear the area for Parisa's big raid. Neutralize security robots by dumping them into the ocean. Oh, I've been, you're, I've you're been training have, for this! I know you're going to have so much fun, oh, dude. I'm man. so excited. It is it is smooth sailing fun here on out, buddy. Oh, okay, that is great to hear. Uh, oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> immediately fall and in the water. <laughs> frozen cold and dead. <laughs> Pulse gone. You need to clear all required targets first. All right. Oh yeah. Am then, I freezing? I'm freezing. freezing you are. Right yeah. Now. Okay. <laughs> I'm freezing. No, you're blue because you're an avatar. I'm blue dabba dee dabba die. Because Wait a I'm minute. From Avatar. What the yes, fuck? Yes, dude. A fucking spider robot. Go check it out. Oh, that is so cool. I That was my favorite part of this mission, hands down. It's terrifying, but it's so cool. Oh, you should open up your gift. Ooh. Is that a tank? Da, 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 da. <laughs> anyway. With 12 shots in it. Patron, we got twelve of those. <laughs> twelve shots, no twelve Patron. Oh man, I could use some more Patron. <laughs> you spinning? You spinning? Oh no, he's spinning. He is trying to burn you. There we go. Well, I'm trying to burn him. His face. I'm Get taking the name in the burn book. What's your name? Roberto. Oh, I saw your Tinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> you have hoof like feet. <laughs> That's so hot. That's so hot. I right, bet you're ready to set up an alarm with a 60 second notice. No, I've quit that. <laughs> I quit smoking. Holy shit. Why is this little yeah, master got turbo? Iron Man shit. He was just like, I can do a quick little turbo boost. Ah! <laughs> Man, I really wish. Alright. 
It's not working as well as I had hoped. I also got my tank stuck for a while. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with it anymore. It's fair. I've figured out other you ways to You have better, deal more accurate us. tools to work with, I think. Oh, God. How fucking cool is that? Oh, that is so I wish we had cool. more missions with the spider robot in it. Well, there is... I mean, I'm sure there's uh, like... User submitted content. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm sure, yeah, you could like use the model for that, but... If we, by the way, if we want to continue content in uh, Teardown, we could also look at some of that stuff, because... That's true. Some of the shit I've looked at in uh, user submitted is fucking incredible. Yeah, hey, uh, people watching. Um, Pogs, if you have anything that you love to see us play, like tear down user created content, let us know in the comments because we will absolutely download it and check it out. I'd love to do like a fun. I think the barrel of the gun fell off. <laughs> <laughs> just like a, a mod showcase. Yeah, just to see. That'd be really cool, just to show what people have come up with. I'd love to see it, because I really have- I've only used, like, modded weapons and stuff to complete the actual campaign. I haven't really done any, like, new levels or, like, that art heist you're telling me about. I still have to do that at some point. Yeah. But I think I uninstalled Teardown off to reinstall it, but... That's reasonable. Like, once you... I feel like this game really caters to, uh, people who, like, want to... Uh, uh, complete the optional objectives like as soon as possible mm -hmm. and so uh, I, I'd imagine a lot of people end up like replaying missions as soon as they're available yeah uh, yeah until they... maybe rockets a bomb oh, will yeah, put them oh, down no, that's just a little more dangerous Should have been ready off. for this. What's that? La, cous La Cousin's Danger Hall. <laughs> the movie from Arrested Development. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh no, he's cooking me. <laughs> you were worried about the freezing cold water? Yeah. No. You it said was... smooth sailing. This is not smooth sailing. It's just, you were training for this. But yeah, not... like on occasion. Call an ambulance, but for Sean. Eddie, run a <laughs> run a clip of uh, me training for this. <laughs> Dude, uh, I rewatched that, Eye of the Tiger. that fucking call it therapist, but not for me bit like a hundred <laughs> times. I was cracking up. That was so funny. <laughs> call the therapist, but not for me. It's the thought of like, what you know that? you're going to traumatize someone. <laughs> I was trying to get you to talk to a therapist. I think it was episode 16, actually. Oh, in Teardown, okay. Uh, Teardown 16. And nice job. Um, that was easy. And you were like, no, you call him for me. And I was like, I already did that. He <laughs> said, call a therapist, but not for me. <laughs> just like, that you have the forethought that you're going to traumatize someone, so you're like calling oh, a fuck. therapist for them first. <laughs> so you can take care of them. That's good aftercare right there. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> but not for me. Can I disable his legs? I guess not. His hey. legs are working pretty good. Come get me, baby. He's shooting rockets at you, you know that, right? Well, he's got these wires hanging. I figured I could disable something. Is oh it my god. Do those do something? Doesn't I never noticed like those. Wow, you fucking Neo. <laughs> <All right. laughs> My biggest enemy is me. <laughs> the floor. Oh my god. It does kind of look like he's hobbling a little bit. Does it? Oh yeah. Yeah. See, yeah, oh, see, yeah. See, see what I mean? I he's think all, you actually did something with that. He's all, he's all like goofy legged. That's cool as hell. Gosh, I hope no one <laughs> pushes me in the water. <laughs> Are you a fan of the Goofy movies? I am. Oh, all his legs are now are Goofy now. It's... <laughs> oh, <look>. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Help me, Max. He's trying to push me in the ocean. Uh, I love the Goofy movie. 
I don't know that I've seen all of it, but Maxine was a real cutie. Yeah. It awakened <laughs> something in me, that's for sure. I'm not a furry, but... <laughs> <laughs> but if I was, I love Maxine, but I'm a furry. Here, the truth come out. I'm a goof troop. I mean, I gotta say, like, I've never been interested in the people in costumes. That always struck me as weird, but like anthropomorphized yeah. animals. Oh, hell yeah. I've seen a few that, uh... I've been a Lola yeah. Rabbit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Space absolutely. Jam. Uh, Gadget the Mouse, I think, is one. Oh, my God, from uh, Chippendale Rescue Rangers? Yeah. Fucking hell yeah. She's in the, the movie that came out. Along with Sonic the Hedgehog. Along with, uh... Cursed Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Cursed Sonic the Hedgehog. Alright, come on, follow me. You left me, I mean you two, comment. <laughs> <laughs> Shutting down. Come here. Wait, is there another waterway that would be easier to I mean, get that into? Right there. I, I know that it was gone. there, I'm just, oh. I'm trying to figure out, like, ease of access kind of thing. I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah. We're just pushing them. Well, time for a bath. <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> Go for a swim. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, you froze to death. Oh, dude, that was close. Well, I have a. You have a new plan of attack. I have a yeah, I have a plan. You got this, dude. You're doing great. And remember, you only got to do five. Only five. Well, out of five seven. There, there are. Sorry, I should say there are five that are required. I think, or does it let you pick at any five? There are five that are required. Required. Okay. I bet you oh, did there's already one back do here. one. So. Oh, this is optional. Yeah, that guy's optional. But yeah, the spider is indeed <clears throat> a uh, little bitch. A <laughs> 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 He's not concerned though with me shooting out his his leggy bits. Oh. Huh? God, can you imagine if someone just took out your fucking like leg tendons with a sniper rifle? Oh my while god. While you were minding your own business. So, uh. What happened? <laughs> Go on. No, it, it's not. This isn't like a memory thing or anything. Oh god. Um, I'm about to throw one off. of one of my fears uh, of like things that could happen to me is having my Achilles tendon snap. Oh god. Uh, because I heard uh, some, I don't know, if, like it was a doctor in a documentary or something. They basically oh. indicated that you could. Uh, Great. <laughs> Wasn't even aiming for that. <laughs> we weren't even testing for that. Uh, they basically indicated that like your your Achilles tendon could, in theory, at any point just snap. Oh, I don't want to hear that. Um, <laughs> And then oh, the God. the muscle in the back of your leg is basically like a rubber band at that point, and it just oh, snaps God. up into the back of your leg. God, no thank you. Yeah, so... That's kind of a fear that I have. Nice job, Shinron. You just got two is robots he gone? in that Oh, hell yeah, get out of here, bitch. Nice job. Thank you. Um, no, that is a completely reasonable fear, I think. It freaks the hell out of me to, to think about just a muscle in my body just like... I get scared about, like, if someone took a knife to, like, the back of my knee area. Because mm -hmm. you can, you know, you can, like, you can feel those, like, tendons and stuff in there. That scares the shit out of me. Yeah. I That's one of my biggest fears. I, I get just, that. like, someone taking, like, a, like a fucking raptor claw, you know? Yeah. Ugh. Gives me the jeebies. Shit, where'd he go? <laughs> that dude <laughs> fell down. <laughs> dude fell down a hole right. or whatever. Well, he's much closer to the water anyway. That's a good start. <laughs> he's got a sticker on that says salt life. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> You know, I, I always see love those stickers that. all the time. I have no idea what that's about. It's just, it's like people who... Just like a brand of people who like the ocean? Yeah, like... Yeah, like they look forward, like every summer their thing is like the beach, right? Or Jersey Shore. Oh, okay. Know. That's just... Where'd you come they from? They just kind of make it... Uh, a large part of their lives for whatever reason. You mean personality? 
Well, I was going to say personality, but it might... <laughs> no, I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. Okay. It might not really be part of their personality. But they do, like, obviously enough that they bought a bumper sticker, right? Or someone close to them bought a bumper sticker for them. Yeah. So, I mean, sort of. And then they still made the choice to put it on, so... Yeah. They're at least but... slightly complicit. True, although it may be partially due to guilt, if it was indeed a gift. You know, if you know your relatives, <laughs> like your your fucking weirdo cousin Jeffrey. Salt life. I fucking hate the ocean, Jeff. I'm lit. <laughs> oh no, oh, buddy. Okay, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. It could have been. Um, I yeah, like he should know that I'm allergic to salt. <laughs> fucking unacceptable. You know what? I'm about the pepper life. <laughs> Can someone make me a pepper life sticker, please? We've been all about that pepper life because Shanae's got. <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't discuss her. Because <laughs> my wife has this medical condition. Because <laughs> my wife has crippling depression. <laughs> I have crippling bonitis. She is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's on her deathbed. She's like, it gets worse and worse. <laughs> Call a therapist for my wife. <laughs> my wife. My wife needs it. <laughs> Kidney, kidney transplant. <laughs> oh my gosh. I had a friend who needed a kidney transplant and she finally got one. I was so thrilled for her. Save. Nice job. That's fantastic. Yeah. I was really worried about her. She she and her husband live out in Pittsburgh and they're old um, college friends of mine. Mm -hmm. I don't see them as much lately. Hopefully I will some more in the future. But um, she ended up getting some like... Well, your odds are better now. <laughs> true. Wow, true. I, I didn't mean to take that in a norm in a morbid way, but like that's, okay, that's what popped into my head. <laughs> that's so fair, that's fair. I, I apologize, but but it's also true. I'm, yeah, I mean you're not wrong. Like fortunate. You're not alive, but you're right. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm not upset. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's good. I think like one of her cousins or something was a match, and they were able to do the operation and give her the kidney. So I'm thrilled because it was tough for her. I remember she had to like. Oh, what were you gonna say? New business idea. Oh yeah, shoot. It's a dating app for organ transplants. No. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I remember she- All right, it's a no, but hang on. Let's come up with hang a name on. for it. Oh, okay. And continue with your story. Oh, okay. Um, ooh, I do kind of want to find a name for that. <laughs> Terrible idea, but I do want to know what it's called. <laughs> I'll think about that in a second. I was just going to say she, like, had to jump through a lot of hoops because, like, fuck, it's hard to. Like, if you don't have a blood relative or something. Oh, yeah. That, like, waiting on the list is fucking hard. She's on, like, dialysis and stuff. She's having a really tough time. So I'm thrilled. You got to wait on the list, and they, they put you on these, like, really strict requirements. Yeah. To make sure that, like, you know. <laughs> Like, you understand the gravity of receiving a yeah, donated like, organ and all that. Yeah, because they don't want to regret giving it to you. Right. You'll feel bad and they'll feel like shit, too. So. Um, but yeah, I'm super thrilled about that. Fuck. I hope I can go out and visit them sometime soon. It is a little bit of a long drive to Pittsburgh, but... I hope you I can, too. I think there's people that I can visit out there. My, two of my good friends, Tony and Nolan, live out there. Um, love those guys. Tony Danza? Yep, Tony Danza and Nolan Schmanza. <laughs> They have the same last name. How's, <laughs> How's their dog doing? Fucking uh, fall, you cool. idiot! Cool, cool, sassy, cool. That's good. Does the dog yeah, need a kidney? Nice! Alright, so job's done. Quick save! <laughs> job's done! I could have saved myself some ammo, though. This last guy looks like he's in the cave. I think he is. You might be able to lure him out. I mean, yeah, I mean, it wouldn't take that much longer. Just go fucking go for it. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. I'm gonna ambush him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just come out here. Hello? Oh, no, Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> Who's at the door? <laughs> Throw my Mormons. Oh, oh, you can kill me in that? You fucking... Really you fucking dipshit. What a fucking asshole! <laughs> How funny would it be if I clicked on restart mission? I was there? really thinking it was gonna happen, and I'd be like, "All right, next time." <laughs> <laughs> All right, looks like we're not finishing it this time. 
got this. You want to just finish it? Uh, it's almost an hour, but we could squeeze that last mission in. Yeah, we got a little bit of time to cut out. And okay. Eddie, if you feel like we got some bullshit to cut out <laughs> in the middle, you can feel free to do that too. Cut out the fire bone. The booby bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Cut out the terrible joke about the talking about friends dying because of kidney stuff. Hell yeah. Come get me. Get pooped on. Dumb little idiot. Yes. Is this it? <laughs> Just fine. <laughs> Get pooped on you, baby. It's such a great threat. <laughs> Get ready for a biohazard, bitch. <laughs> Ding. Oh, that's it. I don't need to quick that's save. It. I mean, you should. Fuck yeah. Just in case you die. No, I'm gonna throw but caution in the wind. You die on the... Don't throw caution in the wind. Hold on to caution. You have it for a reason. You dummy. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> you fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm mad at you. <laughs> I'm mad at myself. We talked about this. No, we didn't. I, we just did. What did we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't tell her. I know you have a medical condition. She's <laughs> but can you come get him? <laughs> come take care of him. He needs the jacket again. <laughs> oh, fuck. Progress sure. restored. Just for context, Alex gave me a sweet tart, just in case that's not in the edit. Um, <laughs> and the different colors do taste a little different. And I'm not gonna tell you what sweet tart is code for. <laughs> it's a blowjob. <laughs> Did that make it in the edit? YouTube won't be happy about that. <laughs> Oops, surprise blowjob. <laughs> Well, last episode we sang about a surprise bukkake, so I thought it was fitting that we had another surprise sexual sex sexual act. Yeah. You mad lad. See if that works. Oh! <laughs> yes! That was 100% worth it! Yes! Finally, the fucking payoff. Oh, that was awesome. Did you see him do a flip? <laughs> that was so cool! <laughs> Wow. And it's coming full circle too because this oh is the first gosh. map that I tried that on the robots. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> awesome! What a good ending. <laughs> god, he was just. Oh god, it's like the, <clears throat> the end of Kick Ass where he gets hit with a rocket and he flies out in the building and explodes. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's right. That's so good. Oh, oh man. All right. That was wonderful. Escapade. Oh shit. Whew. Awesome job. And you got a perfect score. Look at that, seven minutes. Glorious. That's like yes. a that's like a robot a minute, dude. Yeah. That's a serious accomplishment. Thank you. Some of them are a pain in the ass. Wow, that was that was fun. I like oh, bullying man. the robots. That's what I'm gonna miss when I'm done with this game. Bull right? That being a bully. I wasn't <laughs> God, there's no one in my life I can bully other than my wife. <laughs> oh, <don't do> it. <laughs> I don't disclaimer, I don't bully my wife. Yeah. At least I don't think I do. He has to say that for you too. Um <laughs> Jizzing on your TV again? Yeah, of course. Did you I'm see the? So flaccid, right? Did now? you? See... <laughs> Did you see the truck that's on there? Of course, I'm gonna jizz all over my Whoa, TV. I love big trucks and make me rock hard. Did you see that truck? Whoa! <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! Oh my god! <laughs> all right, oh, man, the titties is pretty pissed. All right, here we go. Did you see how fast the text popped up? Yeah, that was quick. But in outrange, the police are raiding a hollow rock and practically swarming the place. Fortunately, I managed to hide in the vault. From here, I'll be able to sneak out through the emergency exit. Slink out, sorry. He's slinky. I had a slinky once. I straightened it. I'm <laughs> astonished that they somehow managed to pull this off, but it's of no concern anymore. My people are deploying the truck's terminator this very minute, and I will have my well-deserved revenge. 
I might as well reveal how I found out whilst I wait for the ruckus to calm down. While scrutinizing the mall security tapes with the new manager, we caught a glimpse of a yellow van marked LTS. <gasps> with a bit of research, we managed to locate the same van parked in a driveway in Cullington. Oh, no. Well, what used to be a driveway and what used to be Cullington, I'd wager that I will get the last laugh after all. Sent from mobile. <laughs> Sent from my iPhone. <coughs> Oh shit, are they going after mom? John Mulaney does a great bit about that in his latest special. Oh yeah? He has a new special on Netflix, check it out. Oh Baby shit, Jay. I'll have to check it out. Real good. Talks about his uh, rehab. Oh, That's okay. Great. Good for him, going to rehab. Mm -hmm. uh, Alright, producer tournament, tur uh, case tur turn closed. <laughs> <laughs> we can pinch this one off. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> Take it home, everybody. We got a little bit of crime poking out, but... Oh, uh, oh no. <laughs> we got him, pal. I can't believe this is all over. We managed to make the arrest just as he was trying to sneak through, out through a hidden exit. If this was a legit... If, if this was legit and all, I'd make sure you were given a medal. But the way things panned out, eternal glory and respect from Lakel's next chief deputy is all all I have to offer. Well done. Good job, pal. This also <laughs> sent from mobile. <laughs> I hope we haven't already left for Cullington. Can we make it a late dinner? I picked up the new solarium today and wanted to try it out. I am the very devil of a scientist solarium. <laughs> Don't call. I'll lock myself up in the basement with Sonny Marx for the next couple of hours, and then I'm going to watch Reba. See you tonight. All tanned up. Love. Oh, and then Mom, you didn't, have, you didn't have to tan for me. Yeah, we're going to Cullington. Cullington. Oh, first time in Cullington. The cliffside hometown of Tracy and Lockhell Teardown Services HQ. Save Tracy and Cullington by making sure Mr. Amanitidi's truck exterminator falls into the ocean without exploding. Without exploding. Oh, shit. Is is this going to be timed? Like, sh Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So he's aimed right at your mom's house, and you need to... Knock him in the ocean. The ocean is way out necessary. here. Okay. Okay. All right. Nothing is fucked here. I was thrilled about this ending because I was like, "How does nobody know that you're behind all this shit?" <laughs> <laughs> but he's actually known for a while, and he had you—he literally had you build this truck for him so that he could destroy you with it. Uh. Oh, that was like the last few missions? Yeah, you remember when you got the truck parts out of the <clears throat> river in Frustrum? Oh, uh, like yeah. Like, you, you were literally helping him build this. He's got the nitroglycerin on the back. Okay. So like oh, all those, shit. Yeah, all those missions for him, he already knew that you were the one that fucked with him. Oh, it blew up. Yeah, it's... Quick save. <laughs> 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 and, uh, it's very fickle. Like, he can't, like, hit anything. Okay. All right. All right. So the bulldozer seems like a good first choice. Wait, where's the map? Oh, tab. Why am I hitting M? Like, this is the first fucking Warcraft. time I've played this game. It's definitely World of Warcraft. I've been playing way too much of that fucking game. <laughs> uh, is he moving while you're on the map? He is, right? Yeah, absolutely. He is. Okay. That's okay, though. <clears throat> Why don't you ever blow up my house anymore? <laughs> How come you never blow up my house anymore? You never call the bombs anymore. You just <laughs> set them off remotely. Boring. Alright, so the is the blue house mom's house? Yeah. Okay. But you, you need to get them through the whole town to the ocean. Right, right, right. So, like, not just avoid the house, but avoid all the other construction as well. And it seems like the the, the truck is, like, turning to go towards Mom's house. So it's not just... I can't just point it in the right direction and... No, you, you can. It starts off pointing at Mom's house, but you can... You can change its trajectory. And oh, it really? Just, it, then it just goes forward. But it seemed like it, it kept turning towards Mom's house anyway. 
I think that was a coincidence, just because you kind of pit maneuvered it back there. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Scoop ya. Fuck! <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> no, it's without exploding. Oh. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> Damn it! That's the rules! Maybe you just pick it up and like drop it on that truck. There you go. There you go. Uh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly in a tracksuit. Peanut butter jelly. Oh man, does this truck remind you of Final Destination at all? I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear you say that. <laughs> Did you also have an unreasonable fear of that movie? Unreasonable. <laughs> I, I mean, a very reasonable <laughs> fear of all of the Final Destination films. Literally every cause of death in those movies, I'm like, oh, cool, I'll never do that again. I mean... Go to the gym? Go to the dentist? <laughs> so many of them are so ridiculous, though, like... Uh, but they could happen. No, they couldn't. Most Not of all of could. them. Not all of them. I said most. You corrected to most, but... <laughs> I've always spent most in my heart of hearts. <laughs> he is like flattening you in the ground. He does not want to drive up onto this truck bed. I don't think. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. The truck is aiming down. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in pepperonis, mom. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Wow. That's a hell of a blast. Oh, mom's in the basement. <laughs> She's fine. <laughs> She's good. Um, in the basement watching Maki Mark and the Funky Bunch. The so the the two kills that I've seen in Final Destination that I'm reminded most of. The the first one is uh there was a I think it was a girl waiting in a car at a drive-thru. Oh, and the motor chops up the back of her and head. And the motor jumps out of the the car behind her and oh. chops up her head. Yup. Remember that one? Um I can think then, of like seven or eight off the top of my head. <laughs> The other one that I think of is the girl that had like a. Uh, she was going tanning. Ugh, she died in the tanning bed. Yeah. Yep. That one was just like stupid though. It was. Stupid. It was like a like a what do you call it? Like one of those uh, breakfast machines. What are they called? <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, but I don't know what they're called. I don't remember what it's called offhand, but but basically like you set off a, a series of seemingly unrelated events that that lead to the final conclusion that you want. Shit, what is that called? Like a Rube Goldberg? Rube machine? Goldberg, that's exactly what I was thinking of, yes. Oh, um, like, yeah, like in the beginning of, uh, was it Back to the Future? Where uh, Doc Brown has the, the whole Rube Goldberg machine to feed his dog the dog food in the morning. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Ernest from Ernest Goes to Camp also does Rube Goldberg yeah. machines. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he had one of those too. Um, but yeah, like that that entire thing was like she she closed the the lid of the tanning bed too hard or something. God damn it! Can I just get in that truck and steer it? <laughs> right. <laughs> um. But. Through a series of events, she ended up getting stuck in the tanning bed, and then the drink that she brought ended up shorting out the the outlet or something. Yeah. I'll never go tanning. Also, <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to anyway, but... I just want to say that something like that's important to my sister. <gasps> Her sister's dead. could have died. In case that didn't show up in the audio, Shanae was just telling us that her sister went through <laughs> through that kind of experience. So, there you go. I guess it could happen. <laughs> God, it traumatizes the shit out of me. She's not dead. Well, she's not she's dead. She's 100% fine. But she, uh, did get stuck in a... Nice job. It's okay. She did get stuck in a tanning bed. Don't you start. Don't nice job me. You did, you did great. <laughs> <laughs> you did good, so you did good. But back traced. Yeah, and uh <laughs> The consequences will never be the same. 
cyber police and the real police. Um, yeah, oh my god, the fucking log truck. That one stuck with me. The guy getting his head cut off in the gym by the swords hanging on the wall. I haven't seen it. Um. Oh shit, what else? There were so many that fucked with me. I haven't seen most of them because I didn't I, I didn't really like follow that series. Gave me an innate fear of roller coasters for a little while. Despite the fact that I know that they're super safe. Right. But not always. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it depends on who's building them, I guess. Yeah. A little extra fear. Fueled lots of people's fear of airplanes, which is good. I think the opposite of that actually is, is a bad thing. Oh yeah. Like people are unreasonably afraid of airplanes. No, I mean it's good for uh, airfare prices. <laughs> it's good for getting a seat. <laughs> There's less people on the plane. See, I don't know about that. I can't get on the plane. <laughs> There's no people. I feel like a lot of people. Uh, first of all, you have a lot of people that are like, "Well, I'll do it." but I won't be comfortable with it because of this movie. And then you'll have a lot of other people that are like, oh, so those people aren't going to fly? I'll take advantage of the lower uh, occupancy. Oh, true, yeah. Why don't you just tear down that Collington sign? Instead of, because he's gonna... Because that's reasonable! He's gonna fuck it. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> What the fuck? This is not reasonable. What the fuck, man of titties? Can I... Am I allowed to demolish my mom's house? <laughs> Can oh. I just make a straight path to the ocean? For the... I never tried that. I don't think so, though. That sounds like a bad plan. It seems like a bad plan, but I kind of want to try it. Well, maybe, because your mom's like, I'm in the basement, so maybe. She's in the basement. Give it a fucking... She's not going to be... Oh. She's not going to be a right? All right, Cullington sign's gone. Uh, next step, I think, is this bus stop. Bus, bus stop's stop. gone. We're like destroying public transportation. Glad to hear it. Ah, public is obvious. It should be privatized. There you go, libertarians. <laughs> That's the shout out to you guys. <laughs> it's liberty and justice for some. <laughs> <laughs> we all had that pledge. The pledge of malfeasance. <laughs> uh, Shit, that might straight up be working. In the front of that laser thing is the thing that actually sets off the explosion. Yeah, it seems to be. So, I mean, as long as you destroy anything, like, directly in that path, I mean, I'll be alright there. Shit, he keeps turning. He's caught up. Run under the fucking piece of shit. Yeah. Well! <laughs> Can I, do you think I could just blast the end off that detonator? No. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. No. I'm glad you'll be honest with me. Oh my god. <laughs> this is new stra. Wake uh, up, babe. Wake up, babe. Oh, fuck. New wheelie strat right. just dropped. That, that house isn't important. Not important Who to lives me, there? Anyway. No one now. <laughs> Parisa. It's for sale. Parisa. Hello, third man residence. Oh, god damn it. I thought, you, I thought that you said this was going to be quick. It is. Quick for whom? Why are you having trouble? Yeah, I'm having a lot That's of weird. trouble, That's actually. Weird. That's weird. You mean take over? Uh, let me, let me try one more time, and then... Not that I can guarantee that I will immediately succeed. Oh yeah, you'll sit down and you're like, oh, you could just use this thing to fucking use the speed it up. Tool. Just launch it into the ocean from here, like a catapult. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick! Wait, let me, let me try something stupid real quick. Alright, that didn't work. <laughs> well, it worked to setting them off, but that's a bad thing. We don't like that. <laughs> I 
Oh my god, I don't know you can do that. Like I said, I don't, I don't think any of this is gonna work. So you can shoot the nitro, That, that's fine. Really? <laughs> Ow. Okie doke. Well, let's... You're doing a great job, Bucko. Just saying that. Yeah. It's heavenly bodies all over again. <laughs> False praise. Do little leg kickies. Put on assistant <laughs> mode. You're yeah, on Newtonian, it's too tough. I don't think that's an option here. You gotta demolish that little shack. Demolish I I shack is a little place where we, we can, can stop fuck this some car shit from falling up. Fuck some shit up. <laughs> fuck some shit up. <laughs> love shack. Oh, you gotta love the. I don't understand why they decided to put that. That like voice line in for that guy. <laughs> yeah, jukebox money. <laughs> the, like weird like '50s salesman. Yeah. Like what? Uh, maybe not '50s salesman, but like 1920s, like vaudeville kind of like. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't understand why why speaking parts in in older songs were so popular. Like. There's so many songs in like uh, 50s, like 40s and 50s music that seem like they're just like, oh yeah, it would be perfectly fine if we put uh, just a guy talking, speaking the lyrics to this song at this point <laughs> in the song. That's heavy. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that, Marty? In the future, is there something wrong with the Earth's gravitational pull? Why can I not blow this ah, truck doc. up? This is lightweight. <laughs> Doc, have you seen Mohammed and the Bee? He's a Seen what? Mohammed and the Bee. <laughs> <laughs> Mohammed and the Bee, Bee, Bee. Reference to the Picnic video face. that we watched earlier. <laughs> Quick save, I love that. Just like, Picnic what face. the fuck? He's not moving, so you got that going for you, actually. Yeah. That's why I felt it was reasonable to do that right now. And now I'm Yeah, I mean the worst that happens is you restart the level, so This really is a hashtag longy. Yeah, I wasn't planning on it. Alex had me convinced that this was gonna be an easy, quick mission. Alex thought it was. <laughs> what do you fucking do it then? Okay. What do well tell me, what did you do? It was so easy for you. Okay, I'll tell you my strategy. So I did run it off right here, like right where you're standing. Yeah. I had it run past here, and I took down the fence over there. Actually, I don't even think you need to take down the fence, because I think the laser actually goes over the fence. So the fence on the other side is fine. Yeah. But yeah, I had it go particularly this direction. I did have to take out the trees, just to be safe. But yes, yeah, so use, use your rockets, take out the little eatery shack. Um, eatery shack, eat eat eatery shack. <laughs> yeah, like I had it. Yeah, like I moved the cement truck out of the way. I destroyed the eatery shack, and like any trees, like I just went fucking nuts with the rocket launcher. <laughs> that is a maneuver. <laughs> that is a maneuver. Yeah, I just went absolutely fucking nuts with the rocket launcher. Uh, like I got, I got it oriented right. to the exact path I wanted, and I just went nuts. I guess I guess my issue was that I was trying to be methodical with it. No, I tried that at first and it was too difficult. Oh. <laughs> you should have stuck. We should have prefaced no. this by saying, <laughs> "Oh, just go ape shit with everything." Oh yes, Terranos, the last mission. Go crazy. Push well, there's a time for going crazy, and it's, and it's not now. most missions. It's now. The end of the game is now. Although you have good luck fucking turning that machine. Whoa! <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, yeah, maybe you can grab it on the front. 
Like by the laser. Uh, yeah, laser. That's, that was my. I made a truck's terminator with freaking laser bolts attached to his freaking head. Really? Really? All right. Well, listen. Um, you may take over, friendo. Wait. <laughs> God, sometimes I really <laughs> think you're a genius. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> Is it only forward that they kick in? I believe so. Yeah, okay, that's shit. That's kind of frustrating. Alright, uh, alright, let's release that. And, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It's working against me right now. I mean, that. That, yeah, I was gonna suggest you hit him in the back and reorient him. So go take out that street pole real quick. Just so he doesn't bump into it. Yeah, nice. Alright, now you have a minute. Well, not a minute, but a little bit of time a to moment. reorient him away from that building. You probably wanna. Uh, Come on. All right, so he's clear of that for now. Okay, nice. Yeah, try try and hit him. Grab that box Fuck. truck. Try and hit him near the front and orient him over towards where you just cleared. Because he, uh... Come on. Turn. You got this. You got this. Okay, try one of those. Uh, there's a truck there. Try that truck. Yeah, don't panic. Back up. I'm panicking. Shit. Okay. It froze. I guess you could panic. Right? Oops. <laughs> Did you shoot it? Yeah, I went out on my <laughs> I own like, terms. Oh, I was like, I went up a little early. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's really lagging the, the system, too. <laughs> oh, my God. A big old explosion. All right. Well, I have, I have an idea of what to do now. My mom says explode, explode. <laughs> Explosions! Take that back! Too many syllables! <laughs> well, there it goes. Here I go, objectifying your mom again. <laughs> or does it? It's still... wow. Wow, he's he's stuck on the... the... Wow! Alright, easy peasy, just clear a hole through the house. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What if no? <clears throat> We're not doing it that way. All right. Uh, all right. I forgot oh, to. That's so picky. Yeah. Imagine that. I always said that about him growing up. I said, "Shut up, picky." And then I abandoned him, and I met him again. <laughs> you abandoned me? Yeah, remember? No. You didn't meet until 2015. After why you think <laughs> So we met before that. Yeah, like but you abandoned me. Yeah, he birthed you and then I moved you. See, I didn't know that. Oh. I didn't know any of that. Well, it's true. <laughs> Good luck with Woo! that, Eddie. Must be something with this cable. It must jiggle itself out or something. Maybe. The red light was still on, but the cable wasn't in all the way. I really hate cement trucks. Might have to better secure it some I stopped bumping into it with my yeah uh okay put some vehicle thrusters on there that's that one sideways the way. <laughs> that's fine a little extra right hand and boost left hand and boost a little extra left two hand. hops this never, time never hurt anybody <laughs> it keeps getting caught on the wheels god damn it it's fine it's not fine it's okay <laughs> it's, it's not okay it's super cool Something, something I abandoned Sean. I don't think well, the audio made it through on my end. <laughs> it's not Sean's though, so that's fine. Alex got quiet again when he was reminiscing about his boy. <laughs> he abandoned. I've abandoned my boy! <laughs> I've abandoned my boy! I've abandoned my child! Oh, there he is. I've abandoned my child! That was also from There Will Be Blood. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I've only seen Bill Hader doing that. Thing. Oh. Oh, that's why Anton Chigurh is there. No, that's that's no. I'm sorry. That's that's uh, uh, no country that's for old no men. Country for old men. 
The one guy plays him on Saturday Night Live. Does a really good job. Can't remember his name. Um, there will be blood. Also had I drink your milkshake. <laughs> if you remember that classic line, I don't. Really? Really? It's a movie I've been meaning to watch when <clears throat> we were gotten around to it. Well, it's about like this oil baron, right? And yeah. He, he moves into this You'd this think town. Be there will be oil. But... Well, <laughs> there was blood, so be well. prepared for that. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> uh, there's a there's this like powerful scene uh, where Paul Dano's character uh, is confronting Daniel Day Lewis's character. Ooh, Daniel uh, Day Lewis. Yeah. He's um, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> That's true. He's Baberham Lincoln. He's build a uh, build a butcher. He's build a bear. Butcher. Build a build a bear. Yeah. <laughs> you could build your own butcher. And you, really, you've got to at those prices. If you don't get to build your own butcher, yeah. Like, what's even the build point? Build a bear is expensive. Uh, but yeah. So earlier in the movie, uh, Paul Dano has. Oh, I I was really open. Well, we, Nano does have ooh. Why don't you by. tell me about it and I'll take care of this, buddy? All right. Switching up. Change places. All right, Alex is taking over now. All Being right. a professional here. So let's see. <laughs> Professionals have standards. <laughs> you could restart the level too if you prefer. Uh. Yeah, let's give it a restart. <laughs> No Should offense. Really fuck this up. No offense, uh -huh. but maybe a little bit of offense. I'm pretty offended right now. Just a little bit Regardless. of offense. <laughs> I just hit control to try and run because I've been playing a lot of Minecraft. <laughs> which is totally fine. Yeah, I've uh, noticed there's been a resurgence amongst uh, friend groups that I'm a part of in Minecraft. Oops. Uh, one of my friends set up a modded server that he that he likes to put a whole bunch of mods on, and then uh, another friend of mine uh, likes to. He's been spending a lot of time trying to do. <laughs> wow, that was close. One. <laughs> oh boy, he's he's trying to play hardcore mode. Oh, I always want to give that a try. He, I think he said he's on his hundredth uh... server. Oh my god. <laughs> or more. Oh, alright. Oh, nicely done. Thank you. This is how a professional does it. Professionals have problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's, As you that's can see. true. There we go. That's better. Generally speaking. Uh, yeah. True. True. False. Um, true. <laughs> and he invited me to play it on one of his hardcore setups when he goes through it, and... I've never been particularly good at Minecraft, uh, like base Minecraft. Vanilla. Vanilla. Vanilla is the finest of the flavors. It's pretty good, right? I usually like to mix it up with the, with extra stuff, but have you ever done vanilla and lemon together? Not to derail the conversation. Um, they actually pair really well together. <laughs> Maybe I have, but not not specifically, like not on purpose. Like it wasn't my choice. Fair enough. But I recommend it. Very good. Uh, I'll have to check that out. Like at uh, like Rita's. Nowhere specific. I just like I think the flavors. You wouldn't think it, but they complement each other really well. Oh sure. There we go, that's all I wanted, isn't it? I'll try that at Rita's. They have the they do the custard. <sighs> I always get I'm a gelato person. That's is that where you mix both, or is that just one? No, I just like I've just had desserts in the past that were vanilla and lemon, and I thought it was weird at the time, but Oh I see. In retrospect, not really. But shit. <laughs> I meant to turn this guy before. Oh, he's stuck. It. He's gonna blow. Yeah, I should have turned him earlier, actually. 30 seconds to Before blow. I took care of those trees at the end. It's alright, I'll get it. <clears throat> wow, it is lagging. lagging. Lagging hard. Some kind of lag wagon. <laughs> May 16th, am I right? Great song. What by are you by lag wagon. <laughs> it's a great song by lag wagon. 
I don't know what you're I also appreciate about. that you actually get to drive this truck in an actual mission. Oh, because it's always just been around the house? Mm hmm. When I drive this truck, I like to drive it around the house. I'm fat. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Wow, it is shit. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. As it turns out, this van is made of poopy doo doo celery sticks. What, did, what does LTS stand for? Lockel. Lockel Teardown Services. Teardown Services. Ooh. You're flirting with disaster. Shanks. Oh, alright. Backwards <laughs> is no go, I guess. It doesn't even care anymore. Jesus Christ. It's, it's given up on boy. caring. It really has. Fucking move. Fucking move. Fucking. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put some thrusters on the back of that truck and blast through in the same path that the truck is doing. <laughs> I suppose I could. There we go, that's better. Construction vehicles seem to be seem very effective. <laughs> Fuck that van in particular, dude. <laughs> vehicles. Last question. You can't fully destroy vehicles. I know, but I just need them to be flat enough. <laughs> that, was, that's what it's about. Well, it wasn't going to interfere with the the path of the laser. You don't fucking know. Do you? Are you an yeah. expert? Yes. Oh. Well, you saw how I was playing. I'm sorry. Expertly. I thought. Oh, this thing's fucking broken. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why that is. I don't know. That was weird. Huh? Yeah, that's, that's crazy. Very, eh? very weird. You gotta be careful. What's behind Relax. The, the rockets that you're firing? Relax. You're gonna blow up your mom's house. Who give a shit about my mom's house? <laughs> Telling her you said I'm that. I'm not gonna lie to you. She's in the basement. She can't hear me. She does the volume up really high. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fucking worry about it. She's watching her soul. No! No! Why did you shoot it? Because it, it was about to hit it. That was... That shouldn't have happened. You shot an explosive. I feel like such a goof troop. <laughs> I feel like such a goof troop. You are a goof troop. What? Oh, it saves your quick save still. Because I didn't override it. Oh, that right. Makes sense. Oh, that's good to know, actually. Well... I no, guess... yeah, I mean... At, right, the, so at this point in the game, it's not this fish truck to is know, what I but... did first. I use this to aim it more appropriately. I do remember doing that. Okay, that's a better trajectory. If I could get the fucking fish truck out of here, <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's creating a unknown variable. Oh no! <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Are you worried about it? I'm not worried about it. I didn't fucking do this. I didn't fucking kill my wife. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Duh, this guy wants to destroy Corn Cob TV. <laughs> what an asshole. I don't need a. <laughs> How am I driving? There is no front, there is no steering wheel. Don't worry about it. I'm worried about Why it. Why are you worried about it? I'm worried about it. I'm not worried about it. I am worried about it. I think you have other things to worry about right now. I don't have anything else to worry about. I live a life of ease with no pain. <laughs> no gain. That's that privilege. True. Though. Rearing its ugly head again. You're right, though. <laughs> I'm Seth Rogen now. <laughs> Oopsie toodles. Oh, God. I'm going to blow yourself up. God, I hope We're so. going back to original teardown. So I'm back in the saddle again. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, Beatles or Aerosmith? Aerosmith. Same. No offense to the Beatles. I don't care about the Beatles. I like them. I care for them a great deal, actually. I'm happy for you. Good. I, I think that they're um, overrated. Brave. I know. <laughs> I respect it. Uh, They're not for everybody. I get it. Like oh. I, I can respect Why their their place in history. Aiming so hard this way. Um, but the music is just okay. Ooh, rock climbing billboard. In my <laughs> mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't have a rock climbing bu billboard. Not usually. 
<laughs> usually. I, Sometimes, but I'll tell like, you the truth. For not special usually. occasions. Yeah, I don't, I don't mean to alarm you, but I you know. Okay. Alright. This looks like a good trajectory, right up until it gets caught on some bullshit <laughs> in the world. Ain't that the truth. I don't know, I think it might have been better when I had it pinned against the house. <laughs> yeah, you think so? Yeah. Bam. Cool idea for a mission, though. Now it's smooth sailing. I know, right? Like, here's this unstoppable... I See, I can't condone what you, what you were just doing. Why? Because they, the pipe bombs, what you don't seem to understand is the bombs throw each other. I understand. Do you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm fine. Just climb underneath it. Yeah. Now you gotta get to a nice vantage point so we could watch the whole thing as it falls in. Here's a vantage point. Don't shoot it. I will kill you. <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> oh, it cut to a different... Yeah! I could have done that. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> what the fuck is this song? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a mood, though, is what it is. <sighs> Blue tie boss behind bars. Following the spectacular arrest on Hollow Rock Island involving a vault. With a secret tunnel. Mom, it does. Oh, Mom, Mom came to locale with us? Mm hmm. She got out of Coniston or whatever it was called. Gertrude, yeah. Oh, uh, good job, Dennis Gustafsson. Right, what a pleasure. Great, what a great job. idea for Level a game design of voxel based team. destruction game. Yeah. With, like, so much creativity. The level designs were great, the missions were great. I'm gonna get emotional. We've been with Teardown for a long time. Oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, it, 17 videos is 17 weeks, but also we took breaks in the middle. We you, did. You broke off to play it on your own so that we couldn't enjoy your failures anymore. <laughs> I did so good. You would be so proud of me. I don't know about that. We'll never up. know. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. We'll never know. That's why we're gonna keep it. It's an incredible game. Uh, we can go through the uh, art heists or whatever they uh, whatever they are, the DLC. We could check out uh, user submitted content. True. We could finally check out that AC one thirty that you've been alluding to. Maybe we'll have to curate a couple things for our like our own little WPAG sanctioned showcase. Yeah, we could do that. We'd do something similar to our... Oh, shit. Our Left 4 Dead 2? Like our Left 4 Dead 2 videos, yeah. Those were fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so much fun, actually. Sorry, I, I paused for a moment because the song sounded familiar for a moment. But I'm trying to figure out what the actual song is. But hey, that's Teardown in its entirety. And yeah, a dog ate the Aww, chicken's face. I was going to do a rubber chicken squeeze, but it doesn't work. <laughs> you can get it to work sometimes, but it's All not good. consistent. Art Vandals. Oh. That's the art heist. Expansions created by the Teardown team. They're intended to be played once the campaign is finished. Well. We finished the campaign. That's true. Hell, so, I mean, at this point, we could even break this up into two episodes <laughs> and have the Art Vandal part of the second episode Oh, there, did but... you want to do that right now? No, we probably shouldn't. I think we need a break from Teardown. We'll, yeah. come, we'll come back to the Art Vandal. We'll come back to the Art Vandal. Um, But special thank you from Sean and I to tuning in to all these episodes of Teardown and joining us on this silly voxel-based journey. One of the best games I think we've played on the channel thus far. It's up there for me. Agreed. A lot of laughs, a lot of fun. We did have a lot of laughs. 
It was a good game. <laughs> Talked about Batman pooping. God. For that reason alone. <laughs> <laughs> sold elevated it yeah so yeah if you if you know if you thought we had a great time and you think that you could do better go check out teardown which is available in the steam store and uh help support the wonderful creators of this game it uh was a tuxedo lab i think is the the um oh yeah team. it's insert name here yeah, the Grombler. So, <laughs> all right, we'll see you guys next time on We Played a Game. Bye. Bye. Oh, man. Almost two hours. <laughs> <laughs>